Hey guys, this is a quick walkthrough of the new Apex Fusion software open beta version. Alright, so I was able to create my account at apexfusion.com, updated the required firmware for my controller, and fully enabled my controller to connect to Apex Fusion. So the new dashboard has, of course, your outlets here, my switches over here, and you have your graphs over here. Okay. So you can see on the graphs, it's interactive. As you hover your mouse over, it shows you the various data points. Now, I've adjusted this according to how I wanted it laid out. Important thing here to be aware of is there's three columns versus the four columns that are standard in the original dashboard. What's important here is the order in which you put your tiles here affects how you'll be able to see your tiles ordered on your mobile device, okay? So starting from the first column down, the middle column down, and the third column down. I'll show you an example in a separate segment here on this video that shows you how it appears on mobile and tablet devices. So let's go ahead and click on one of these tiles here. This is for my pump return. Click here, goes to on, click here, goes to auto. And you'll see over here that the status updated according to my selection here. and uh, Right here is how you actually change the programming for the outlet, the gear icon, all right? So here's your programming that I have. You can control, you make any changes, and then you click this button here to send the programming to your Apex controller. Okay, done. Go back to the dashboard. Next item here that I'd like to show you would be the alarms, okay? shows you the alarms for today. I don't have any alarms today. Click this button here to go back and here's some of the alarms that I have, that have come up. Now be aware my setup isn't completely running yet. Over here is, is uh, how you select how many items you want to display on a page. And if you have more items that are displayed on that could be displayed on one page then you could use these controls to change back and forth between pages. Going back to the dashboard, the next item would be the graphs. Okay, this is really cool here. It's interactive. You notice here it shows you the data points. You could move the slider here to control what period you want to have the main display, play, inf display information. The default down here, I believe, is 12 hours. You could change the beginning and end points if you like. Okay, down here shows you the maximum, the average, and the minimum for, I believe, the entire time period that uh, your system has been on. Now you could add an overlay. I'm going to overlay my temperature and you'll see that temperature goes up and down based on the amperage here. This energy bar is actually hooked up to my heater so you can see there is a, a correlation between the temperature and the amperage. Scrolling down below, this is my other energy bar. I have two my temperature, and my pH. All right, going back to the dashboard again. This is for the profiles. So here are all my profiles that I have set up. If you click on it, you could change it. This one happens to be for my uh, light, for in the morning, sunrise, and this are the settings that I have. All righty. Another item here is the authorization. You could allow other users to have access to your Apex controller of varying levels. Pretty self-explanatory here. If you want to add a user, you click down here and add that user. Going back to the dashboard over here, let's make some quick changes to the dashboard. So click on this tile here. And here's all the unused tiles that I have. You just click and drag, position it, and voila. Okay, click and drag and remove. Pretty straightforward. Doesn't really update this unused tile section here, so it's a little odd here. This is for your webcam. It's not operational yet. Okay, put that back. Save it, done. All right, last item here is the settings. I'm gonna go over to the notifications here. This is where you set up what email or what text phone number you want your alerts to be sent to. So I have one for Verizon for text messaging and one for emails. 
to go to my email. All right, so the next segment here is going to be for how the display appears on a mobile device. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here's how the Apex Fusion looks on an iPhone. This is just an emulator, but easier way to show you how it works. All right, so here's the uh, tiles, and they're ordered, like I mentioned before, starting from the top of the leftmost column. And you can scroll down, and all the outlets and switches are shown in the order that you have them on the dashboard on your computer. Okay, so here's how it would look on an iPad. All right, you do have the three columns, just like on a computer. Scroll down a little bit. Scroll back up. 